pertama akan dimulai dan kita lihat itulah sabuk juara yang akan dipertaruhkan yang akan coba direbut oleh kedua petinju dan Bung Chris John ini gelarnya kebetulan lowong ya Bung ya 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 jadi saat-saat itu sekali ya jadi pas sekali gelar lowong ini diper, diperbutkan kali ini gitu. untuk bisa nantinya setelah juara uh, siapa pemegang juara WBCS ini nantinya tentunya akan uh, bertengger di peringkat WBC dunia antara 1 sampai 10 atau 15 dan yang menarik ada kesempatan untuk bisa melawan juara dunia ya nanti ya. For the national anthem of Indonesia, Indonesia Raya. Be seated, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome once again to the World Siam Stadium here in Bangkok, Thailand for the featured bout of the evening. Our main event, ladies and gentlemen, is brought to you by Evolution Fight Series in association with M Pro International. Our official health mask sponsor, Evo Plus Men. We're co-sponsored by QQ288 Today, Wi-Fi Goo. VIP Voucher.id Save Hamsters League, the hottest new play to earn game, MVP edition now available for iOS and uh, Android. This battle is sanctioned by the WBC Asian Boxing Council, its president, General COVID, Bhakti Boom, Supervisor, Colonel Om uh, Pacha Kapal. Your three judges assigned to score this bout from ringside on a 10 point must system are Pukic Prompayon, Tanawat Wongsasan, and uh, Tanapat Swakiao. And the referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell also giving instructions after the introductions from Thailand, uh, China to Han we said. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. 10 rounds of boxing for the WBC Asia Silver Super Lightweight Championship. Bapak dan Ibu, para penonton di Indonesia yang menyaksikan secara langsung di Kompas TV. Sekarang tiba saatnya laga utama malam ini. 10 ronde pertandingan tinju untuk memperebutkan sabuk juara WBC Asia Silver Super Lightweight. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner wearing a blue trunks with purple trim from Bangkok, Thailand. He weighed in at already 138 one-quarter pounds. As a pro, he is undefeated in seven fights. 
Seven wins, four big wins coming by way of knockout tonight. Aiming to capture his first championship fight, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the young and hard-hitting Rachata Kaupima. And his opponent on my right, fighting under the red corner, wearing white trunks with red rim from Sukadana, Indonesia. He weighed in at already 139 and one quarter pounds. This future Indonesian congressman comes in with a pro record of 40 victories, four defeats, 28 big wins, coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current WBO Oriental Super Lightweight Champion and the current IBA Super Lightweight Champion of the World, the fighting pride of Indonesia, the people's champ, Dauda Yorda. And now once again for the instructions, referee China Han we said. Obey my command. Protect yourself on time. Let's go. Good luck. Ya pemirsa inilah dia ronde pertama antara Daud Jordan versus Rachata Kopimai Ronde pertama sudah berlangsung dan akan berjalan selama 3 menit Kita lihat Bung di sana. Yes. Bagaimana Daud Jordan menggunakan hashtag DY2024 ya Betul Enggak, ya? <laughs> ya, Dia Daud tadi Jordan. sempat uh, saya ada apa kontak-kontak dia sebelum tadi huh? Kemarin nih lebih persiapannya gimana uh, Dia persiapan baik Tapi dia juga persiapan uh, Mempunyai Bilang wacana, bahwa, ya, wacana. Bahwa dia akan ada satu tagar yeah. di celana dan tadi di jubahnya ya. Di ya. 2024. Dan di tubuhnya tuh, di punggungnya. Punggungnya juga ya. Seperti, ya, seperti Mbak Seli bilang bahwa ini mungkin adalah rencana masa depan Daud Yordan setelah ya. kita tidak aktif lagi di tahun 2024. Ya. Ya. Karena Daud itu sangat ingin membangun uh, apa daerahnya. Selain daerahnya pun juga itu untuk petinju-petinjunya juga at the end. Hmm. Ya, kebetulan dia memang kan dia memang nah, ada beberapa petinjunya ya. Yeah. Jadi dia, dia persiapkan untuk untuk uh, profesionalnya. Cuma memang kembali lagi dia juga bilang bahwa ya memang event saat ini enggak ada Betul. gitu kan. Yang mempelajari masing-masing saling menjajaki betul. Oke pemirsa kita saksikan langsung komentar dari ring tinju pertarungan antara Daud Jordan kontra Rachata Kopimai. Dawood, the more efficient one, with his consistent body shots. Dawood with the jab. Dawood, who is typically known as Chino with his ring name, due to his Chinese ancestry, now wants to be known as the people's champ. Dawood with a strong left hook. As he has his aspirations, if you can take a look at Dawood's shoulder blade, he's got hashtag 2024. That is uh, marked on his back, which is literally him telling the whole world that in 2024 he will be making an attempt to run to become Indonesia's first fighting senator. Dawood with a strong right hook. End of round one. Obviously, if we had unofficial scorecards at this time, it would have been Dawood leading on this scorecard. This is a clear move by an experienced professional boxer. Consistent jabs to the body. He's not launched any vicious attacks yet against Ratchet. Another jab to the body. These consistent shots to the body will just empty the gas tank of Ratchet. 
if Dawood is to consistently do it over the next few rounds. Right, so that's still yet to do anything impressive as of yet. Perhaps it's still early to call it. Dawood with a nice shot. Sort of bruised slightly on Rochera. Rochera against the ropes. Still in the mode of parrying Dawood's punches, but still not able to block the jabs that Dawood is throwing towards his midsection. Dawood with another solid jab to the body. Mind you, Dawood is an expert in throwing shots from awkward angles. He's able to throw shots when he's cornered against the ropes. He's able to throw shots when he's out of the pocket, in the pocket, anywhere. He's a sharpshooter. Dawood with a right hand. One shoot to the body. And that pretty much gives leads me to a conclusion. Dawood is consistently attacking right on our compromised body. So perhaps that's his game plan. That's his strategy to go to the body and using that as keys to victory towards the end of the fight. Dawood responding to something yelled at him from his corner right there. Dawood Alcino Yordan, the fighting pride of Sukadana, Indonesia, running for Congress to be a senator in 2024. Rashad Akau Little did this young Thai boy know that his path would cross with this fighting legend of Indonesia. Never met before, never thought that this fight would happen. But post pandemic, this boy is pretty lucky to land himself a shot to fight against one of Southeast Asia, and if not Asia's most decorated and impressive fighters. Last 10 seconds of round number two. Jawood with a shot. Rachada moves in underneath, tries to throw a looping hand, and Jawood with another looping hand, and that's the end of round number two. Weighed in at about 139. Wow, a vicious shot there, boy. Dawood now unloading some of his powerful shots. Dawood not launching any attacks from angles, but rather orchestrating and launching his attacks on a straight linear approach, which is always began with his jab. So he starts off with his jab, and he looks for an opening, and then tries to throw some shots. But most of the time, his shots are going to the body. Like this right there. Yeah, the jab, jab to the body. Rush had a missed a shot against Dawood over there. Dawood throwing multiple shots to the body. It looks to me like Dawood momentarily steps on the gas pedal and then lets it go and then he does it back again and he lets it go. So perhaps he's just trying to give this little kid a, sh a chance at having a go at him just to see what he's got. But perhaps it may be risky business for Dawood to do that too much. He shouldn't take his opponent seriously. And that too, not Rajada. Rajada has an undefeated record here, an unblemished record to take hold of. Rajada with a left jab. Rachara with a strong shot. Dawood going in with the jab, maintaining the distance. Corner, Rachara against a neutral corner. Will Dawood do something? But Rachara pushed Dawood back again off of the back foot. And he's able to, but still in the pocket though. He's still staying against the ropes. Will he be able to do something or will he go back to the center of the ring? 
Rachara seems to be a little vulnerable every time he stands against the ropes. He probably should move away from the ropes, get back to the center of the ring. Last few seconds left of this round. That's it. End of this round. They're now watching Dawood People's Champion Yardan against Rachara. This is just typical of TIE fighters. Dawood still with his hands down. Probably that's just a sign of being wise and being experienced in boxing. Let's see what Dawood is able to do this round. Dawood with a nice shot to the left, to the body. Rachara moving in, lunging in with a shot, but doesn't land. Dawood with more consistent vicious shots to the body, left hook to the body. Rachara sort of switching his stance every momentarily. Wonder what's that all about. But he's not been able to throw any clutch hitting with either hand as of yet. Probably with that one as an exclusion. Dawood with the left hand. Dawood with another straight right and a hook to the body. Rachara still unable to find a way to launch some effective attacks on Dawood. Both men clinch clean. Referee breaks them apart. Wow, nice shots there. Dawood with a nice right hook. Daoud corners Rajada against the red corner. Rajada managed to step out of the pocket and now he is cornered again in a vulnerable position. Daoud with multiple shots at Rajada. Rajada holds on tight. He ducks and he bobs and weaves those punches and he moves against the ropes again. And he bobs and weaves again and he throws a right hand against Dawood. Body shots by Rachara. Dawood goes in for the clinch and he throws a punch at the break. Dawood moves in again. Rachara comes up with a right hook. They clinch again. Dawood tries to break out of that clinch. Dawood marching towards Rachara. Rachara barely hanging on with his overhand right. Dawood pins Rachara against the ropes. Dawood with a strong left hook against Rachara. Some serious leather. Rachara wobbled over there against the ropes. Wonder if the ropes prevented Rachara from going down and taking a knockdown. Last 10 seconds of this round. What is going to happen? Dawood going in with the attack. The clock is ticking. Time is running in this round. The referee stands by. And that's the end of this round. The fourth and also the eighth round. So... As of round four, the score so far from the red corner, first judge 40, second judge 39, third judge 39. In the blue corner, first judge 36, second judge 37, and third judge 37. So, there you have it. It is an official... Ya, pemirsa, baru saja kita saksikan akhirnya Daud Yordan mampu menang technical knockout atau TKO atas Rachata Kopi Mai di ronde kelima. Tadi sudah kita sama-sama saksikan Bung Chris John. Bagaimana menurut pendapat Anda? Ya ternyata uh, dari Thailand ini sepertinya memang apa ya pengalaman <laughs> masih jauh sekali ya. Yeah. Uh, jadi ya kita bisa lihat bahwa kematangan seorang Daud Yordan ya bisa mengatas dengan dengan sangat mudah sekali ya lawannya ini. Ya yeah. kita coba dengarkan apa ini kata Daud Yordan setelah ia mendapat sabun juara. Terima kasih semuanya. Saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Makot, sorry, Empro Internasional yang telah memberi saya kesempatan dalam hal ini Bapak Raja Sabta Oktohari Bapak Gusti Andi Tira Bapak Urjen Rujen Sim dan seluruh tim Empro Internasional 
serta saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada seluruh masyarakat Kalimantan Barat khususnya Ketapang dan Kayung Utara yang malam hari ini menonton hidup Kayung Utara saya juga mengucapkan semoga lekas sembuh kepada orang tua kita ibu saya yang ada di rumah sakit saya mengucapkan juga lekas pulih buat bapak angkat saya bapak Usman Sabtaodang di sana kami mendoakan Om kami merindukan Om untuk kembali ke Kayung. Thank you very much, Dawood. And as a special presentation for you, since you've emerged victorious with the WBC Asia Silver title, we now have Safe Hamsters League right now to provide you with an official presentation to congratulate you and to provide you with a check and a winning prize money for this title fight. Congratulations. All right, so with that, ladies and gentlemen, once again, a big round of applause for Daoud and a big round of applause for every one of you for making this event possible. After two years of being away from the ring, we're now back on boxing. Professional boxing is back in Asia, and so is EFS. Good night. See you again. Bye-bye.